Hey guys, I hope you can hear me okay. Basically, I'm just doing some quick meal prep. I've gone through my fridge and this is all my fresh stuff, almost. I'll show you the fridge in a moment because I've just cleaned it out. Um, but basically, I'm gonna use this lot to make a kind of tofu and bean stew with some harissa in it. It's loosely based off a recipe that used to come with the tofu packs. Um, and I'm actually gonna put three tins of beans in there and two blocks of tofu. And hopefully that will be enough for five days lunches this week. Hopefully, if not then four, but hopefully five. Um, then I've got these meatballs, meatballs, mushrooms, um, basil, onion, thingy, ignore this. Um, and this is gonna be used to make <clears throat> like a meatball bolognese, I guess. Um, I don't know how many sims these are, so I need to look that up, but I bought them without checking first, which was silly. Then I've got um, one lime and a bit of garlic that needs eat, uh, sorry, ginger that needs eating. Um, ignore my garlic. Um, so I'll probably make use them to make a stir fry, and I've just cleaned it out my fridge and just sorted it out. So the top shelf is all stuff that is not involved right now. Um, I've been sampling this. It's very, very nice. The new dark nuts and berries Vago. Do recommend. Um, I've got yogurts for breakfast and for snacks. Um, this creamy stuff I bought just to try it and it is really nice. It's half a sin for two tablespoons. I always have the dark chocolate milk um, just because I really like it. And sometimes if I have some of that, it will stop me having like actual chocolate or too much chocolate. Um, I've got some tempeh and tofu there as well. Obviously some lemons that you're eating. Um, I have three packs of, um, it's like a potatoes and vegetables and you roast them and um, they were on offer basically. And I was panicking last night that I wasn't gonna have any time to make anything. So I bought three packs of them because they're three for two. Um, and I've got a pack of six Heck Super Green sausages in the new packaging. So um, that's three dinners sorted. So um, roasted that with, and I'll just put like two of those on top. Sorted, that's three dinners, nice and easy. Um, and then in my vegetable drawer, I said I've just cleaned my fridge, which is why it looks quite neat and nice. Um, I've got some peppers. I've also got um, a load of monge too that I got reduced. Half broccoli, three courgettes, and some salad leaves and my peppers. Um, so I probably will do, like I said, a stir fry with that and the lime and ginger. Um, for my dinner tonight, I'm gonna use up the rest of these hot dogs and the soup mix. Bizarre combo, but it works for me. These are gonna go in the cupboard because I don't think I need to use them this week. Um, nor do I need to use those. So that's spare, but that's cool because they all keep. So yeah, this is using up everything in my fridge to make a quick meal prep. Just wanna quickly apologize because I'm doing a real, um, let's get it all done around the house. And um, so my dishwasher's go, my washing machine's going, it's all go. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna quickly get these on so that I can get on with um, carrying on my cleaning and tidying. So jumping straight into it, I washed and split out all the celery. That was a whole bag. I chopped it up and there's two thirds in the large stew pan and one third in the smaller bolognese pan. Next up, I just added both bags of uh, leek and cabbage mix to the large pan. And then I chopped up my tomatoes. Now, these had started to spoil a little bit on top because they were the ones on the vine and uh, if you leave them a while, sometimes they do go. So that's why um, I had to get rid of the tops there. Next up, it was time to chop some garlic and I'm putting in two to three cloves in both the smaller pan and the larger one. Uh, the smaller one, as I said, is for the bolognese and the larger one is for the tofu and bean stew. I chopped up an onion ready for the bolognese. I didn't need to add any onion to the stew because it had leeks in the cabbage and greens mix. Now I had to add a bit more water to that pan there because it was starting to boil dry. I then added a couple of stock cubes to the big pan and you probably missed that but I did actually drain those three tins of beans and pop them in. And then this is me adding in harissa. Um, it probably was only about two tablespoons because uh, it turned out I didn't have much left in the jar. But then I added in some more water just using the bean cans as well. 
I then uh, drained and chopped up my smoked tofu. I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend if you make anything like this that you use smoked tofu. It makes such a difference in, uh, in the flavour of the overall thing. So then obviously next we chop up some mushrooms and these are obviously for our bolognese sauce. Now I tried to do this quite quickly because at that point it was boiling dry again and of course I wanted the mushrooms to release their water but I didn't really want to add any extra liquid in there because well as I said mushrooms release a lot of water so that's why that was a bit of a, a panicked rush. I then decided to season the bolognese. I used some oregano and some garlic Italian seasoning. I also used some tomato puree and of course my chopped tomatoes with onion and garlic that were the hardest thing to get open ever <laughs> so that was a fun moment. I then also got a whole pack of basil and uh, got rid of the tough stalks and then chopped it up as best I could. I hate chopping basil because it is a slippery little what's it and uh, yeah it just takes ages so even with this zoomed really fast you can see that my knife was going a lot slower than it was earlier. And then basically just stir, 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 keep everything going. I uh, used this whole giant bag of parsley for the uh, for the stew, and you can see that was a lot quicker to chop, um, you know, even accounting for the fact that, that uh, this is very speeded up so that you guys aren't bored with a massively long video <laughs> from me. Um, and then I just copiously peppered and salted both of the dishes because obviously you need some flavour in there. So once all the prep is done, uh, everything just needs a really good stir every now and then. And basically I just left these to simmer for probably 15 to 20 minutes. Um, looking back, I probably should have added the greens to the stew later, but it is what it is. Anyway, while all that was cooking, I prepped my breakfast for the next day. So I just had some overnight oats. So it's just blueberries, raspberries, mango, oats, and Alpro plain with coconut yogurt. Fairly standard for me. The yogurt is half a sin per 100 grams. Everything else is free. The oats are, of course, healthy extra beef, 40 grams. And this is what everything looked like when I dished it all up. This is my dinner for the evening I made this. So it was my uh, soup mix from M&S, which has got some pulses in it, some barley and the uh, fried hot dogs. I've also got my sort of mushroom bolognese type sauce. Really, really good stuff. And then, of course, my five lunches of my tofu and bean stew. So that's it. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time.